الآن Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, and it's April 12th, folks. We have April 15th up there, but it's April 12th. Be impeccable with your word. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement, and that becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can change that agreement is to make a new one based on the truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 540, NASDAQ off 300, S&P's down 86. Gold, gold contract down $18.20, trading at 2354. We have silver down 16 cents, 28 dollars 9 cents, light sweet crude. Up 50 cents, $85.52 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, down 16 ticks, trading 108.20, the 30-year off 25 at 116.01, and king dollar. King dollar right now trading up 755 ticks, 106.038, euro 106, yen 153, British pound 124 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's go there first. So, bottom line, you get the spy going lower. We had 67 million shares, so it's big volume. And what's game here is this gap. The gap is 417. Yeah, 497 rather. So, you know, bottom line, we're at 509. You know, you get what 13 points slip more. That's like a couple days, like today. And we do have the arms going up finally. Uh, the bottom line is that uh, we're at 193 earlier. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, we're at 199 right now. And yesterday was kind of weird because yeah, they, we had a closing gap of, I mean, uh, uh, arms of 123. Because when I was on the air, it was only at 0.76, which made no sense at all. But the bottom line, this is catching up now. And, you know, if you do listen to Tim Wood myself, he's always talking about if you get a two days arms over three, well, you're going to get a bounce the next day. So we may be get a bounce the next day, but uh, I would be really careful in the context that once this actually starts, I think the panic's going to get a little bit bigger because those gaps are so wide open. The oh, gold, we got to go to gold first. So look at this, man. This is gold. This is this is what gold does, man. But I'll tell you. We got all the way up to 2448. And right now you're at 2355. But look at that volume 452,000 contracts. When you get higher volumes like this, the bottom line is that, yeah, you get a pullback, but you're going to be right back topside. So I expect that's exactly what we're going to see happen. If we go to the GDX, we take a look at the GDX. The GDX went up to a price point of uh, 3574. And same thing, huge volume, took out the swings, took them out with volume, uh, gave it up on price. And so when you see that, you go right back top side. It, right now, the GDX is trying to take out the 3628 area. We go into the note and bonds, and they, they you know, we get 2.1 million contracts, but you get, we're going to need at least that on Monday uh, to get back in the range. The, back, the range that we're talking about here. Is still quite far away. Uh, we're at 108.20, 110, 110, 16 gets you back in the range. So, uh, oil, C L A. We'll go to the oil market. Take a look at oil. Oil's holding up. Oil went to 86, 87.67, 340,000 contracts. That's good contract value. Well, it wants to break this area, man. It well, it wants to break this area. Uh, so the volatility is here in spades. What is going to get interesting is to see the the aspect. You know, the, the whole news this morning was that Israel is bracing for an unprecedented direct attack from Iran. My take is that that's not going to happen because someone already knows. Because that I think the gold market went up for that, and the gold market came down for that. So. 
We'll see what happens over the weekend. But bottom line is that the commodities in general have been on an extraordinary run. I mean extraordinary run. There's no doubt about it. Some of the higher volume. Oh, well, let's go to J.P. Morgan. This is, this is a heavy deal. So J.P. Morgan come out with numbers this morning and gap down uh, 11 bucks, man. I mean, in a big way. So let's take a look at this. Let's see what we have on a weekly. Okay, so it's down on volume. This is serious business, man. Yeah, J.P. Morgan. I mean, you're trading 183. 176 is the number. So that's kind of where we broke topside from. That's the last time we had any volume. So that's still, you know, what, uh, that's still another eight points down from where we are. Uh, let's go take a look at a few of the others because what I've watched is that a, a few of the other banks really haven't got hit. And they, they're going to get hit, man. Bank of America is down 72 cents, you know. Let's see when they come out with their numbers. Okay, the 16th. Yeah, these banks are going to get hit. If J.P. Morgan got hit, trust me, <laughs> everything's going to get hit because that's the best run bank out there. So um, there's, there's going to be problems there. Uh, that being said, though, I suspect what you have is that that gap is going to be really interesting, particularly because the arms are going up so dramatically right now. A couple more days of that, you can imagine that, that, that arms will go right through the roof. The fear will intensify, and that's where the buy comes in, folks. That's that's the bottom line. So, we go over to the let's go over to Exxon Mobil. That's been on a tear also because of the oil market. Yeah, so that's pulling back two bucks today, and yeah, some of these can pull back quite a bit. I mean, we're at one nineteen, one thirteen is game for Exxon. It's been a straight line move up though. I mean, Exxon went straight from a hundred to 123. That is pretty wild. 23%, and that was from February 15th. Two months, 23%. Yeah. The commodity run is on, folks, and it's on in a big way. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials down 560, NASDAQ off 310, S&P's off 90. Coming right back.